in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Um, the race of our Lord be with you. Um, I welcome you here on the Easter Sunday celebration. Christ is raised up from the dead, and we pass 40 days of Lent to pray, to fast, and to do the work of charity. And you heard on the announcement that we make the commitment to support the rice bowl if you not turn in during Freedom, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Vigil. You can turn in any time so we can send in to the office so they send to the poor. And for the rice bowl, our parish also send the application in like support St. Vincent the Poor and also different organizations that need and support those ministries around us, with us. So let you know so you can support and what's going on with the rice bowl. Before we celebrate this Eucharist on Easter Sunday, I would like to ask you to welcome one another with a big applause. Christ is already raised up from the dead and welcome one another here. It's special. Hope that you all receive vaccine so we can be free to celebrate. Trust in God's love and mercy. We ask God for forgiveness as we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. To God, glory to God. Glory to God in the high end and on earth, we on earth, be to people of good will. Praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, Lord Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, take away the sins of the world, mercy on earth. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Seated at the right hand, the right hand. Mercy on us, you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, Lord are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered that and unlock for us the path of eternity. Grant, we pray, 
that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord.
According to John, um, on the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. Um, so she ran and went. To Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, um, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Um, so Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. Um, they both ran. Uh, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the clothes that have covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in. The one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. Um, I welcome you here on Easter Sunday celebration. Thank you for coming back to our church and house of prayer. And this location will be the new parish for the future of four parishes, St. Anna Visitation, Holy Rosary, and St. Rita, and St. John of the Wood Associate Mission with this location, new parish. So please pray for the transition and ask the Holy Spirit continue to bless and guide us. I welcome you here after the 40 days during Lenten journey to pray, to fast, and to do the work of charity with collecting money financially for rice bowl, help the poor, the needy. I also sent out the letter last week to ask you for all the parishioners of St. Anna, please be good stewardship and we waiting for the commitment call that you send back with your time, your talent, as you know, even during the coronavirus. We not open up fully, but we still provide the ministry to the needy, the outreach, and all that we able. Few people, day in and day out, they come in here at the minister in the daily mass, weekend mass. We truly need you, and we have vaccine. You come back to the church. Your time, your talent is very important to build up our parish. Many parishioners need us to help them. And yes, Christ raised up from the dead. Today is the day the Lord has made. All the suffering yes, we experience connecting with Jesus Christ. And we know and Jesus suffered for us, died for us, and raised up again and forgive our sin. And yes, He among us, with us. 
He invited us, like today we hear in the scripture reading of the Gospel of St. John, three different person character ran into the tomb. First, Mary, Mada, La, the one who, yes, with good friend, with Jesus, and she expecting to go to the tomb to take care of the body of Jesus. The burial is important because when they took him down from the cross in the evening, they just hurry, put him in the cave, the you know, tomb and clothes. So Mary say, at least with the dignity, she want to um, in the early and put the perfume on and then burst and then try to take care of Jesus' body. But when she went into the tomb, no body there. The clothes left there, but the empty tomb. Yes, she doubt, but also she believed. And yes, also Peter, Simon, yes, went into the tomb too. They ran there, but what he found? He found the empty tomb. He also know that his teacher, Jesus, and he follow, they kill him, and probably Peter, they go searching for and kill him too. So with fear and a lot of things going on with Peter had, uh, he, he's kind of a faith. He's not, you know, like fully. But one character that we learn today in the story of the Gospel, John, the one also Jesus loved, and he loved Jesus so much. And Jesus loved us unconditionally, willing to give his own life to save us, give us new life. John can relate of that kind of the love. He went in the tomb. He believed right away Jesus raised up his resurrection. And yes, he wanted to share that good news. The gospel today, the gospel of St. John. And yet love, able to overcome all glory and all the things on this Easter, new day, and also we have new life. Each one of us, if we able to, you know, let the selfishness and all the bad habits and all that we praying for 40 days of land, now we are the new person of the Easter person. With that, we able to reaching out with love and care for many people. So the church have a lot of hope. The Easter is the day of hope. We baptized people last night. We confirmed people last night. We welcomed people with their professions of faith. And they joined us for full communion last night. Two celebrations packed up with this house of prayer. And yes, God called us. And yes, we the new community. And we are the new people of Easter, the resurrection. And so at this time, also at this mass, you know we have today. After the second reading, we have to sing the canticle. And you know that that is very special for this Sunday. And also this Sunday is very special for us at this time. There's no profession of faith, but the renewal of the own baptism. And so I ask you, please stand. And so after we renew our own baptism, I sprinkle the holy water to your place, and, your, and then you make the sign of the cross. The choir will sing some song while I sprinkle the holy water to your place. And when we come back, we have the prayer of the faithful. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that 
we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our lantern of servant is com- concluded, let us renew the promise of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his work and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his work and all his empty promise? Do you believe in God, the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the death, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and be told on us forgiveness of our sin, Keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. In the Easter mystery, God has recreated our world in joy, peace, hope, and light. Let us pray them. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, will inspire renewed Easter faith and encourage Christ-based love for the poor in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of nations ensure to every person the free exercise of religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the newly baptized and newly received continue their lifelong journey into the Paschal Mystery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those crushed by addiction, depression, and grief rise to new life through the grace and mercy of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the living body of Christ gathered here nourish the spirits of those who have received the Easter sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions.
For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of life, authors of love, in raising your son from the grave, all of creation have been reborn. May the life and love of the Paschal Mystery, which we celebrate today, be a constant and lasting reality in our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exultance with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation as all time to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restores our life. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exhort in your praise, and even the heavenly power with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim um, holy. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poor for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Go to that old devil. Like the world has to go there. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life, the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and flesh of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Yosef, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age. We may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. At the civil command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, races, leader, and peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. On this special Easter Sunday, yet offer peace to one another. In the same family, you can shake hug and kiss, but if you are a separate family, please don't touch one another. Sorry. So, okay. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. My Jesus,
May the rest of this Paschal Sacrament about in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the ways of eternal salvation worthy of your gift through Christ our Lord. On behalf of all the priests, deacon, parish staff, sister, and parish leadership, we wish you a happy Easter. Christ is raised up from the dead. Thank you for continuing to support and help our parish. We have the divine mercy also come for the second week of Easter. And if you want to participate in, please read the bulletin and also uh, I really would like to ask you, please sign up to help in different minister. During the coronavirus, many of us, we are afraid. But now you come back to the church, we do need the lecture, the people who are singing, the people who are involved in the liturgical, and all the different volunteers of the parish really need you. you uh, I thank the volunteer last Saturday, who come in mowing the lawn and take care of the parish. You see the row is so beautiful. Our parish rely on volunteer. As you know that we don't have financial to pay for many staff. And that's how I thank you for helping and supporting me to make the parish so alive because volunteer for time and talent. And that's why we have this parish alive this way. Happy Easter to you, and thank you uh, for your continued support. So the Lord be with you. Them. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing is prayer. Please respond, Amen. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may He who restore you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. Amen. And now that the days of the Lord passing have brought to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exhorting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are very good singer, so. 